Lovitz. I wish no, we had seen John Lovitz's always John Lovitz is good too, but the problem was is that is that a lot of people that are listed that are actually there. We saw more people. We can't tell you who they were that came into the press room. They came into the press room for another reason. Actually, because that's where you Beverages. Know, beverages. They're standing back behind the thing. You can't tell you who those people were because they're not listed. So. But they're big on screen. They're screen. big. We saw really some big people. So. Yeah, much bigger than these. But the um, booze was flowing in the press room. <laughs> um, Eliza Schlesinger was yeah. there. Oh, she's, she's got a coming comedian. Yeah, from uh, Amer America's Funny. Uh, actually, from NBC's. She's America, gotten one. She's gotten awards um, for being actually like the, like the top people in comedy. And she yeah. was great to talk to. Boy, she had, she had trimmed down probably oh. like a good thirty pounds. Yeah, she's definitely in, in definitely in hot miniskirt. Oh, she was, she was in great shape. Dr. Andrew Orden, he's from a show called The Doctors, and he is a plastic surgeon. Yeah, tell her what he tell him what he said about uh, uh, how to put on your deodorant. Oh, actually, should I tell him that, or should yeah. we make him watch the interview? Make him watch the interview. He gave us a tip about the correct way to put deodorant on, which is actually, you know, now we got it officially from a doctor, how from you a, should do it. From a plastic surgeon, because actually we were really surprised. It was so hot out there. And yeah. he was wearing a suit. I swear, it must have been 100 degrees over oh, there. Oh, God. It was, it, was, it was so hot. You've got a white carpet. And a white background. It was so it was so, so bright, bright and hot that it changed. Our cameras were switching from automatic manually. It was, it was, they switched from automatic to manual overwrite so we could compensate for the brightness. So, yeah. I mean, if this is, you know, sometimes, okay, just like... They, a lot of people have no control of what the backgrounds is they get. So if you, right, you, you get a white you floor have. and a white background and the sun coming down on top of you. You were whited out. Yeah. It's just a time of the year. It's just an ungodly because, I mean, I, I felt sorry for the poor guys that kept trying to readjust the, the background. Just wiping oh. it off and going back and forth, taping, wiping, taping, wiping. So. Oh, yeah. It, it was hot out there. Yeah. So anyway, we're from the back lot of CBS Studios. But of course, let's see. When we went to, oh, highlights from the carpet. Who, who was the biggest surprise for you on the carpet? My surprise was Joan Rivers. That was Joan Rivers. I mean, I have met Joan Rivers, but I've never got to talk to Joan Rivers and find out that she's actually, actually was from the interview next to us on the question they gave about, uh, I don't know if I, did I catch it on our mic? I don't know. Well, it's a question. About, remember, the question was about, uh, about honesty in plastic surgery. Oh, actually, it was to the right because we, we had asked Joan our one question, and yeah. then the person um, next was, and it was basically that, you know, she was an open book. It's like people will sit there and tell you about their boyfriend, their everything else, except they won't tell you about any of their plastic. And surgery. then you'll go into the restroom with them, and they're, 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 they're like they're slicing dice marks everywhere. Yeah. So she thought there was it was hypocrite to be talking, and you know, not telling people. It said everybody in the business does it one way or the other. So, you know, that was, uh, you know, she's, you know, like she said, she's 76 years old. Like, yes, you know, <laughs> you know, like that. And, and no, at the end, we'll tell you, at the end of the show, I think there was more sincerity. You have to watch the end. More I sincerity. think there was sin real sincerity about what she was planning at the end. And then, you know, she probably did have a change of mind about it, which is why... You, you have to watch the I end and see. But I, I think part of, part of it, We're she not, really meant it. We're not going to tell you everything because you have to watch the show. But they, they, they took and made something out of what she really, from the heart. Cause she, yeah. She, she, like, you know, Carl Reiner said that she started out to be a serious actress and not a comedian, and people were laughing at her. I think you might have seen a bit of the serious person at the very but end. But you for know a what? You seconds. could see some sentimentality in that. Yeah. 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 Okay. So anyway, let's get back to the press room because of course we've been talking about what's on the red carpet or excuse me the white carpet so you'll have yeah. to catch our interviews there but from the press room what happens in the press room is you're, you're sitting there um the photographers are putting out the pictures yeah you see this we show were sitting there we saw some unbelievable photography that was done with the the people from uh comedy people central, from comedy central and, and you know and cbs sitting there going over pictures like God, look at the pictures. I know, they're gorgeous they pictures. I mean, <laughs> you can see where these guys were made, made their money. <laughs> they're all pro. And, you know, and really, I mean, pictures that we couldn't we couldn't get because they were their people. Well, they're know. their people and they have different um, access. But because we were sitting right behind them, we got to see everything. As they, I mean, they're, they're running in, getting new pictures, getting them loaded, running in, getting new pictures. I mean, the guy's walking down the line, 
you know, pitch, pitch, pitchers, then come as he's in and grab, uh, going back out, pitcher, 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 going back out, going back in, new ones. Well, actually, they were so fast, so we're watching the taping as it's going on, and they're bringing him pictures from, what, what, five, ten minutes ago? Yeah, you know, <laughs> pictures, again, they're taking pictures of everybody that's up on the stage doing the material, and, you know, and, you know, and, like, what, there's a difference between real time and stage time. Real time, like, oh, what was it, 45 minutes, we were 15 minutes late and a half hour over. Well, part of it is, is they... It is a taping of the show. Yep. They put it together and then go ahead and put it up yeah. as well as a tape delay. But you know, part of it is there would have been a lot of challenges to do it as a live show. Oh, I, I actually did have been. Um, I don't think the thing is that Viacom doesn't own a pay a premium channel. Oh. If it, if they owned a premium channel, you'd have probably it seen it done live, and then the edited version come over on Comedy Central. Oh, actually, actually, that would have been good. Yeah, because okay, it was a roast. There were things that were offensive, but they weren't, they weren't out of, they weren't jokes that you don't hear said a lot anyway. So. Well, part of it is it's a roast. It's a roast, and it's comedy. So if you keep that in mind. Yeah. And of course, the part that we put on, it, it's like we're sitting there watching, and we're going, "Can we say that on the internet?" I know. Because I know. I go down. Okay. We, uh, so yeah. some of the things may be edited with a little bit of asterisk because I did Twitter on um, the Monty Bubbles account for Monty Bubbles, yeah. and you did the live blogging. Yeah. Um, then, uh, like, uh, so here's one that we had to do much editing on. Carl Reiner said the things that you can say now on TV that you couldn't say when I started out in TV. You, you can oh, now he, say. <laughs> he, he was having a good time, so he he's like exercising his right to say all these words he never could say. Before. Oh yeah, he was saying all every you know we're taking a whole line. But, okay, those, what word hasn't been said yet? Okay, <laughs> those seven nasty words that got uh, <laughs> you know got, the Supreme Court had to rule on that can't be said on TV. He was saying them, which I have a suspicion they may get edited out on the TV. Version. <laughs> we will, we will find out. Yeah, you know, I give you go oh. to the blog, which I think I, I got to get the thing up on it, but you'll get to see. You get, you can get a good idea what to see. Well, One, two, three, four, five, five of the seven deadly words he said. And of course, Brad and Angelina um, were mentioned a few times as well oh, as their yeah. kids. When Joan first came out you, on stage, you with have the kids. to see that she came out with a whole bunch of different kids, you know. And, and but that's all we're going to tell you. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to see it. But basically, what it was is like Kathy Griffin introduced the, a clip of rivers through the years. You know, it basically was a, I think it was a plastic surgery thing through the years. Although you know, I did see her on the Comedy Central um, website, and if you look at that, see here's here's the part is when you are talking when they take a still picture of you. You can't really tell that there was Botox or no Botox unless you know there's you have no wrinkles, right? Yeah. Which is a lot of people that just have good surgery and there's no wrinkles. Yeah. Because but, it's actually when you see them acting and moving and things. But she has some great pictures on there. Yeah, but they they also said that uh, was it Greg Giraldo actually? Yeah. Uh, Jake Greg Giraldo said she uh, you know that, that she's had plastic surgery done so much on her lips she looks like a surprise catfish. Oh, actually, you know, I wanted to ask her how many surgeries she's had done because last night I met Steve, Aaron, Hart. Remember, there's two people that do a lot of plastic surgery. Yeah. One's the lady that wants to look like Barbie. Yeah. I met oh, the yeah. guy that looks like he's supposed to be like Ken, and he's had 46 plastic surgeries. Yeah. And he's planning to count it up to 50. Yeah. So I, I'm just curious, how many Joe Rivers has actually had? She's had enough. She said she hasn't. She said that you'll know when she stops having plastic surgeries when she doesn't show up on the the, uh, the home, you know, the tent to sell her product. Well, you know, on QVC. Now, actually, apparently she's gotten very wealthy off of selling QVC. Oh, yeah. I said she sells everything. You know, I haven't Hawk seen, uh, although I did hear that um, they've got a watch named after her. We trust her again. And for, I mean, they kept joking about that. Yeah. But, okay. We got. They'll give me an, 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 an idea how it opened up on my side. Okay. Kathy Griffin introduces a clip of Rivers through the plastic surgery here, basically. Then she blows the opening and has to start over again. Rivers comes out with children from Brad and Angie. Then Joan blows her opening and has to redo it. Then Kathy and Joan exchange it with insults. Kathy yeah, insults more naughty jokes by Kathy. Uh, Lots of naughty jokes. And then Very the, funny. And then the real. <laughs>